Family Movie Reviewing Secret Agent. Today, I will be reviewing part two of the grand finale of one of the greatest book-to-movie adaptation franchises of all time, and that movie is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part two. Wow! So far, we are getting off to a pretty epic start to part two of the grand finale of this fantasy action franchise. So Harry Potter, our title character, is engaging in a conversation about a certain wand, an invisibility cloak, and a resurrection stone. Those certainly do sound like magical objects. Hold the phone! Harry is now invisible under the invisibility cloak he has over him, and he has now gone on a wild ride to somewhere underground. That is really cool, man. That is one beastly dragon we are seeing right here. Whoa! Golden objects that multiply when touched. Sounds pretty cool unless you're King Midas. Harry Potter and his friends are now on board that flying beast of a dragon, making a daring escape. Radical, guys! My goodness! They have now jumped into the water below them off the dragon. They have now come across Aberforth Dumbledore, Albus Dumbledore's brother, who is saddened to hear of Dobby the House Elf Elf's death. Ron and Hermione have now destroyed another Horcrux. We are now an hour into this movie, and so far, it seems more and more like a combo of a race against time and a fight against evil. We just saw some giant spiders in this magical mayhem ensuing. That is pretty freaky, don't you think? Harry Potter is now taking another look into the past, and this time it is of his parents. Now he is conversing with the ghosts of his parents about his battle against the Dark Lord Voldemort. He is now face to face with he who must not be named Lord Voldemort himself. How clever! Harry just faked his own death and is now engaging in battle against Lord Voldemort and his serpent and his dark forces. That sinister serpent has finally met his demise and now it looks like Lord Voldemort has finally met his end. Harry is now a married father with children of his own, as this movie and this franchise draws to a close. Overall, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 is a thrilling, amazing, and worthy conclusion to one of the greatest book-to-movie adaptation franchises of all time. Join me next time when I review the 1989 movie version of Batman, starring Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton. I'm Flick, James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent out there. Yeah.